Hello, we're back, and this is for the final part of 2.1 number 27. We're going to do part G, which is to construct a pie chart. And before I head into that, I just wanted to make a note real quick. C and D I did not cover in these tutorials because of those are just short answer essay questions, but you would still put them in your spreadsheet. For example, here's my spreadsheet over here, and there are my two graphs. Notice I added the little letter to say which part those were. And you can just type part C and type your answer to the question, whatever it may be. And same with part D, etc. Right? So make sure you have answers to those types of questions in your spreadsheet someplace and make sure they're labeled and easy to see. Now, as for making our pie chart, let's go back here, shall we? So what we're going to do is we're going to highlight, and it'll probably be easiest for us if we highlight the frequencies and the positions labels. Don't bother with the titles. They're not going to do you any good anyway. So, and, and make sure you don't pick the total in the 25. That's a really big no-no. Then go click on Insert, and then click on the pie chart. And we're going to pick the top left pie chart. That's on, the only one we're ever going to pick. So don't ever choose any of these other ones. So click on that. <sighs> terrible. Where's the title and how do I know what percentage all these are? Blech. So let's go to layout. Let's click on the layout ribbon and I'm going to add a title. So click on title and again I like mine above the chart but you can do whatever you like. So let's type um, pie chart of baseball positions. Enter. There you go. Um, I know you're not going to believe this, but we don't like this legend. Statisticians don't like this whole color thing and having to search. So I'm just going to delete that entirely. And you're thinking, oh no, I don't know what everything is, uh, but that's okay. So here's what we're going to do. Click Data Labels. And you're going to click Best Fit. And that made some crummy labels, but don't worry about that. Click Data Labels again. And we're going to go to More Data Label Options. Or alternatively, you could right click on a label and choose Format David to Labels. That works fine too. And right here, Label Options. I don't want the value. I don't want the numbers 1, 2, 3. I do want the percentage. And I do want the category name, like that. So leave those two on. The leader line thing, well, I'll show you what that is in a second. And then click Close. There they are. Now the leader lines are these little lines here that connect the pie chart pieces to their to their labels. And you can click, like I double click right here, and then I can drag it further away if I like. Oops. He should go further away. There he is. And then I can move this guy over to the right if I like, and that makes a longer line. And it's making more space for the third base guy. He was kind of shoved up there into the title, but when I moved these other two away, that gave him a little more room to groove, as it were. And there you go. So they, it, the computer figured out where to put them. And now I don't need that big, huge legend over here. I know where everything is. If you want to move one of them out, for example, first base is inside here. If you want to move it out, you always can. Um, you can't move ones that are outside in generally. The reason they're outside is because the piece of pie is too small to fit a words like center field in it. So there you go. That's a pie chart. And then I would just label this. You know what? I'm going to click in here and part. G. I'll put that in so that way I know it's part G. And then I'm going to move it because I don't want it to cover everything that I did. So I'm going to kind of scroll over here and put it eh, put it right here with the other two graphs. That's fine. There we go. Now I can see all the answers to all the questions. Right? There's parts A, part B, C, D, E, F, and G are all over here. And if you zoom out you can see all of them. Oops, just takes it a second. There you go. So you can see the whole thing. Perfect. So 2.1 number 27 is all done. We're going to be moving on to 2.2 next time.